Hi, I'm going to show you how to make this resolution drop down menu in Godot 4 in the cleanest and best way I've found. And I will also show you how to make a theme for it. And if you find this video helpful, please subscribe. So let's dive in. So start with opening up Godot and making a new scene. And in that scene, make it a user interface. Press Ctrl A or this little plus up here. Add a label. And on that label, on the text, let's make it resolution. Let's center this. And as a child to the label, let's search for option and add an option button. And let's move it a little bit to the side. For some reason, most people make the items through the code, but it's super easy and simple to just add it through the button itself. So click items a new element and let's add a first resolution it could be 1280 by 720 and let's make a second one for 1920 by 1080 and let's make a third one 2560 x 1440 and let's add 4k as well 3840 x 2160 and now we can close down this items one and let's hit selected and make it selected one and now we will make the script that will make the resolution drop down thing work so select the control and hit the plus on the script and name it something like options and hit create and now we have to connect this option button so select the option button and node and item select and hit connect and connect it to the control script and now we have the function for this option button. And as I said, most people do it in a weird way. So this is the most cleanest way I've found. So in the first line, type match index. And then for each, click on the option button again. And on the items, you see they have an ID. ID0, ID1, and so on. And now we will match this ID to the corresponding text item. So for the first one, item 0 will be the corresponding one to zero and then enter and on this next line get window set size vector two and then the size you want and next it's the same for all the following ones one for the 1920 by 1080 id one so it's matching and the same one but now it's 1920 by 1080 and do the same for all the ones that, that are left. And now the resolution drop down menu should be working. So let's try it out. And let's save this. Let's call it rest button. So let's select the 720. And you see it changed the size. And let's select the 1080. It changes to 1080. And 1440p changes there too. So it's all working. I saw in another video that previously you could center it when you resized it. For me, I couldn't get it to work in Godot 4. But if you have any ideas on how you can get it working so it centers when you resize, please leave a comment about it down below. And now we're basically finished with the button. And I'm also going to show you now how to make the theme for the button. So it looks, so it looks a lot better. So let's go to the 2D view and on the options button, Close these items and go down to theme. And in the theme, make a new theme, open that theme up. And on the type, hit this plus button and search for button. And add type. And let's go to this rainbow one. And on the normal, hit this plus button. And on the empty, make a new stylebox flat. Open this stylebox flat. And make the color something like dark brown and let's go to the border width and this will be like an outline around the button so let's make it five on all the sides go down to border and this is the color for the border we just made and let's make it a lighter brown something like that you could also hit blend if you want to get like smoother around the edges i actually kind of like when it's smooth so i'm gonna have it on Let's go to the corner radius and this will basically make the edges round 
And let's make it like 10, uh, 10 on each corner. Just like that. Uh, and now the corners are round. And lastly, let's go to shadow and just make it same brown color and make the size something like five. And this will make it like a shadow. I guess you can make it darker or brighter so it has a glow around it or something. I think this works fine. And now when we try this out, you will see something that's not quite right. So you see the, the theme looks great, but first of all, when we hover it, the same theme doesn't show. And when we select it, the theme doesn't show either. And to fix that, we close this down and on the theme, we copy this normal and hit the plus on everything. Uh, except disabled because you probably want to know if it's disabled or not and just paste this in on the empties and now if we hit play again you will see it works even when it's hovered you probably want to go in and make specifically for each one for example brighter when it's focused or hovered and maybe some other color when it's pressed but you still see that when you click it the options aren't um, in the theme and to add a theme for the options here they are actually called pop-ups and we hit this plus one for another type and search for pop-up and it's a pop-up menu and you can do the same for this just hit plus and everything and paste in And now you have a theme for the pop-ups as well, looking great. Lastly, I'm gonna add a font, spice things up. So I'm gonna import my favorite font, Rubik Bold. I'm gonna go into the font property on the options button, theme overrides font and drag in Rubik Bold font. And I'm also gonna center this on the text behavior and alignment to center. And on the label, search for font as well and theme overrides font and drag in the Rubik bold font to that as well. I'm gonna make the size a little bit bigger. This could be like 50 and the options could be something like 30. And let's move it to the side. And that looks pretty good. Let's check it out. So now, looking good with a clean font, nice theme and working when we select the different ones. I do see now that there is no font for the pop-ups and to fix that, you can't basically do it through the button, you have to do it through the theme. So let's open up the theme and on the pop-up menu, this T symbol and on font, press the plus button and drag in the font. And now when we play, the pop-up has a font now, so that's perfect. This is basically everything on how you can make a drop-down resolution button. And if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching.